Hello, another comparison for you here, okay? So you're doing the same job, so you're going to think about the theme, you're going to choose two poems, you're going to plan, um, and then once you've planned, you're going to write for 45 minutes, okay? Remembering to use the SMILE structure to help you, um, SQIs and MQEs, and C's for context, okay? So art is your theme this time, the idea of art and who has more power? Is it actually the artist or is it the person they're representing in the piece of art? So there are quite a few poems there that you could choose. So if you think about um, My Last Duchess and this um, painting on the wall um, and who actually has most power, the painting has obviously been commissioned by the Duke of his last Duchess. Um, but did the artist actually put things in that painting um, that were kind of um, ironic or giving a message, a deeper message. Um, and the art lasted longer than the Duke did, so maybe the artist had more power. It talks about the flush of red around her throat in the picture, so maybe there's kind of a clue to her death in there, and that artist put that clue in. Um, there's also, in my last Duchess, um, sculptures and, and bronzes and things like that, and the sense of power that comes from from that he always he know, he says make, notice this bronze over here of Neptune and um, taming a sea ho horse and and things so art it's almost like a gallery that he has he almost collects artifacts and objects as if she was an artifact and an object and that gives him ownership and power okay um, war photographer if you think about the art of the photographs and developing the photographs and the um, photographs capturing a moment and then needing to be developed. Um, so you could think about that as a way to represent life, represent emotions, represent moments, all those sorts of things that come in photography. Um, so you could think about that. And whether his editor is seeing it as art or whether he's a bit more dismissive of it um, um, and desensitised to it and is just choosing a picture to go on the front page because he wants to get some money and readers. Um, so a sense of art from the photographer but maybe a dismissal of art by the editor. Um, Ozymandias, art, you've got the sculptor um, who made those huge statues of Ozymandias um, but made him with a sneer and a scowl and a frown and all the things um, that um, maybe made him look maybe powerful and serious and um, formal but actually didn't represent him as a, a nice leader. So they weren't a nice representation of him. Um, and so the idea of who had most power, was it um, Ozymandias or was it the sculptor? Or was it the poet who's written the poem? Was it Shelley? And, and actually, um, Shelley's got more power because Shelley's the one who turned that um, story into poetry, which is another form of art. So it's all representation. Which one lasted longer? Ozymandias, the statue, the poem? Who knows? Um, tissue is an interesting one if you want a challenge. Um, if you think about art, and it talks about layering, and it talks about drawing and it talks about um, just the ideas that come with paper and um, transparency it being part of structure so you could use tissue if you want to give yourself a challenge okay so think about the tone think about um, the meaning of the artist that are talked about in the poems all right um, choose your two poems plan first of all and then write for 45 minutes to compare okay well done see you soon